Thank you for joining us and welcome. We're here to discuss the partnership between Wind River and Entity de Como. I am joined by Sadayuki Abeta, who's head of Open RAN at Entity de Como, and Nico Marziliano, who's Vice President, International Telco Sales at Wind River. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, Abetistan in September, OREX, which is Docomo's new Open RAN service, announced some pretty impressive numbers linked to the new OREX lineup. And the numbers are a 30% TCO reduction, a 50% reduction in network design time, and up to 50% reduction in power consumption at the base station. So what's going on with the numbers? Because they're very impressive. Okay, so... Uh, we actually do that the nine-year TCO, so not on a single year, that's nine years. And uh, uh, we calculate the power uh, based on the latest uh, chipset, including that, you know, uh, we have the many accelerator vendors. And uh, so then uh, we see that the gain of that uh, VLAN itself, but we also consider that uh, uh, our case is that we can centralize the network, so we can share the resource between the RAM or even the data center. So we can reduce the total number of server. That's also reduce the site rental and also can reduce that the power consumption energy itself. So considering that, and also we introduced that, the, so SMO that is a more zero touch operation, zero touch provisioning, that also reduce the cost. Including all the things, we see that ceiling again to introduce that uh, open run and wait so what role does Wind River play in this uh, lineup and why did you select them? A very good question. So, uh, but uh, Wind River has that uh, experience. They have already introduced that uh, their uh, platform, that not only at uh, Dokomo's market, but also that other market worldwide. And uh, so they have the capability. Uh, they provide stable uh, solution to us. The reason so we selected the Wind River. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Betasan, for your messages. Uh, Wind River has been collaborating with the Oryx uh, team and Docomo team uh, for a while, uh, already for a few years. I would say now we are getting a very robust and serious uh, collaboration. We are now embarking, probably you may have seen a couple of announcements uh, this week. Uh, we have been already announcing some trials in the, in the Asia Pacific and the Middle East. Uh, we are looking forward uh, to strengthen our collaboration going forward. Abetasan, what do you expect to achieve with Open RAN? What are the key drivers for this move? Yes, uh, I would say OREX. <laughs> but uh, so we talk about that, uh, so uh, many operators. Uh, one of the challenges for the, uh, many operators is uh, how to integrate and uh, how to maintain that network. So because that uh, Open RAN, it's a, a little bit new for the operators since they need additional tasks to do that integration. Because single vendor case, that's they use the one. But open run, they have the different component and need to integrate by themselves. But that is a very complicated for, especially for the uh, no big vendors. So we provide pre-integration solution together with OREX partner, like Wind River. So then operator can use pre-integrated solution. That's operation become very simple. But still, they have that uh, opportunity to select the vendor. So we work with Wind River, but some, sometimes maybe, may not, <laughs> or uh, they want to use other one. Then we, we have the uh, other solutions to provide. So to uh, so simplify operation, to simplify that, uh, uh, to reduce the cost of the integration, we uh, see that the gain of the or main benefit of the open run. And that drive that uh, op uh, open run in commercial. So we are doing the field trial this year uh, with some operators, and uh, we are there uh, targeting to the commercial service next year. Yeah, if I may add uh, just a few words on what Abed said, well described, maybe refocusing not on the cost because the TCO and the cost are uh, pretty clear, uh, and and what is the benefit of all run? But I would say putting the monetization aspect. So all run. It's not only a radio replacement, it's a radio expansion. So we need to get ready for the future. And the future is going to be moving to the 5G and it's going to be cloud native by definition, has to be 
an experiment and so Oran is bridging into the future and is bridging into the monetization aspect. So what we show also here with the connected car mm -hmm. that is just downstairs here in, in the Movavo Congress uh, exposition is exactly showing how an operator can monetize on open run. Well, the benefits are very clear, but surely there are challenges as well. What are they and what actions will you be undertaking in order to overcome them? Yeah, as mentioned, one of the challenges the integration that is already we have done through the web data partners. And uh, the other one is that uh, how we scale the network. Uh, because the, in short term, the operator introduced that uh, so uh, open network is very small uh, area. So in that case, so, you know, uh, we need to prepare a very small portion. It's, uh, you know, sometimes costly. How scale it is important. So we are working with that multiple operator uh, and uh, we try to the a uh, common part as much as possible, so then we can scale. Then uh, it's more easy to you know uh, deploy. It. And uh, also the performance point view, uh, people say that uh, VLAN is not competitive, especially the performance part. Well, we are working with a much vendor, and we are working with very innovative companies, and they s we see that uh, now we, we can provide competitive performance. Yeah, just a, just a, a, a small addition. Uh, I would say probably one of the potential challenge or the two-day challenge that I think that we are solving and the collaboration with Oryx is, is one of the solutions to the challenge is also creating an ecosystem uh, to have uh, the critical mass in terms of investment. Investment is critical in an industry, in the telco and in new technology introduction is more critical. So we need to have the right investment and the investment can be done by a single company or can be together as a consortium or can be done uh, by having the right bodies that are helping each other, mm. standardizing mm. and enhancing. If we don't do that together, we, we, I see that is the major challenge. I better San, some people think that 2024 will be a tipping point for Open RAN. Do you agree? Yes, uh, this year, I think uh, we talked with many operators, they are doing that uh, field trial, targeting the commercial. So, not uh, uh, deploy the commercial so many areas this year, but uh, uh, I think this is a, uh, this year the turning point and moving to move forward to the commercial. 100% agree. I, I think I mentioned before the 6G, everybody planning that 6G is to be 2030. Uh, we are five years uh, uh, away from the, the, the deadline and uh, definitely Oran is the way to experiment. A lot of contracts may, may expire right now. So I think that 2024 is going to be the right time for some refreshment. And by waiting the 6G technology, uh, uh, a lot of operators will be looking into the introduction of Oran as a bridge into the 6G. Uh, geopolitical situation also uh, accelerated in certain geos. Uh, so altogether, yes, 24 is going to be the year of uh, experiment and selection. And finally, you have made some recent announcements where Orex and Wind River and other partners are collaborating in customer trials in the Middle East and Southeast Asia. Do you think that this model is applicable to other geographies? And if it's the case, why? Okay, uh, yes, uh, we can be applicable to other uh, areas. Actually, we already applicable to Middle East and uh, Southeast Asia. So that, that model is also applicable to LATAM or Europe. Because the uh, advantage is, uh, you know, uh, we still have, uh, the operators still have the opportunity to choose that uh, some features uh, or some uh, component. And, uh, but uh, they more easy to introduce that open run because they don't need to do that. Uh, complicated part because we will do that on behalf of that. So uh, just, you know, the copy to our solution to others more easy because the common, uh, the major main part is common. Just, you know, we need additional integration in the existing their system. So I think easy to, you know, uh, copy to that other area. Yes, correct. And uh, probably there are two dimensions to consider. One is the, geo the geographical dimension, which you already mentioned. The second area is more the, the level of the maturity of the operator and the complexity. So maybe the big operator, the Taiwan, the, the more equipped and structured to manage the disaggregation of the networks, they will definitely maybe prefer a different, uh, you know, disaggregated also engagement, while other operator may eventually, apart from the geography, also consider, okay, I will just go with a simplified model that will bring me the same value off, so technologically wise and from a 
monetization aspect, but reducing the burden of having my organization, my readiness, my technology. Blah, blah, blah. So it's a simplified model. I think, yes, it will be applicable. Abitasan, Nico, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.